This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. Another big, massive news day today and a ho-hum trading day, quite frankly. S&P trading in a very, very tight range. News coming out of, obviously, the North Korea-U.S. talks last night. We have the Fed coming up tomorrow. We had CPI this morning. We've got ECB, Bank of Japan later this week. So just all sorts of news, let alone what's going on in the oil space right now. But yet the market is really just complacent, really looking for what that next step is going to be. And maybe it is the Fed announcement tomorrow, though it is, you know, fairly certain that they are going to raise rates by a quarter of a point. That being said, with the muted trading we, we see today, volatility is down a little bit. We are seeing home builders actually rallying, leading on the upside, but pretty, pretty close uh, sector wise across the board, evenly split between gainers and decliners today. Yesterday, pretty busy day in the ES option space, about 500,000 options traded. But what was really interesting, it was about a 50 50 split calls and puts. Typically, we see about 70% puts trade 30 percent call yesterday was about 50 50 led by the june 2800 calls about 14,000 of them traded then end of month june 2820 calls with about 20,000, and end of month june 2840 calls with about 19,000 of those so really a heavy call buying day yesterday we'll see where that takes us from here with volatility where it is and reduced volatility kind of vix hanging in where it is the expected move that the ES options are predicting from now to the end of the week is about $22, $23 going out to next week. It's about $38. Again, we'll have to see what happens with the announcement we get tomorrow from the Fed, what we get from the ECB, and you know what may propel this market or you know to the downside, maybe have some sellers come in. Now, let's look at Bitcoin. A couple days ago, over the weekend, we saw a breach in a South Korean crypto exchange, which really hit not just Bitcoin futures, but the whole entire crypto space. Since then, though, we've seen a very limited, narrow trade range in Bitcoin futures, back to the kind of muted volatility that we had seen prior to that event happening in the South Korean exchange. So is that a good or a bad thing here? Well, we've seen Bitcoin really trade in a tight range. It's around the 6,600 level or so couple levels to watch out for. To the downside, 6,400 is really an area of support. On the upside, what used to be support at 7,200 is now going to show us some resistance. So those are really the two technical levels to look to see what happens here with Bitcoin futures. This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.